Hey guys, I see here and I just want to show you guys a 18 mil per hour money method. So for this you would need necrotic weather goggles, either 3 fourths storm or 3 fourths aurora with breeze and maniple. You want to upgrade your breeze and maniple probably to at least 3 or 4 and have wisdom 5 and necrotic on all of it. Uh, I have loving on my chest plate because dungeons and I'm too lazy to get full aurora. And then you also need a hyperion and uh, fire veil um, preferably elite and ignition but i really don't want to spend that much money so elite's fine and we can upgrade that it's really cheap and then uh either an overflux or a plasma flux will do overflux will do you plenty and then of course um aspect of the void with a sapphire scroll to get extra mana while teleporting around and then for your equipment I use, um, you, you need an implosion belt. I have Breeze for mana pool on this. You really want Breeze and mana pool on all your gear. The rest of your gear doesn't really matter, but I have a two fourths Molten and then a Gauntlet of Contagion. Uh, they all, uh, the Glistening is not really needed, it only gives five intelligence, but if you want it, you can get that. And then you need a level 100 sheep with textbook for extra Intel. And then you also need, you don't really need it, but prefer on your beacon, um, I don't have a tier 5, but on your beacon you should have ability damage on. And then for your reforge, uh, you want uh, sighted for the extra ability damage and intelligence, and then put all your tuning points for intelligence. And then for this method, you would need to go to another, go to another. And well, what we will be grinding is a barbarian dukes over here. This is a slow way to go. You can get a um, warp kudra instead of doing a warp uh, nether. You can go to warp kudra every time. Go over here and then kill the duke from under. So what you want to do is you want to place on your plasma flux. Use a fire well, so it's very right click from under. And then once in a while, after your fire well ends, as you can see, just use it again. And then you'll kill it. If you have more mana, more intelligence, you do more damage. But that's that's it, and then you should get a... I'll kill it five times. But you should get a um, leather cloth. But I forgot to do this. Every four runs, every single, f every four leather cuts you get, you want to warp nether and kill the blade soul once, which is the fastest one for me. Just kill it once real quick. And then that'll reset the counter. And then you can go kill uh, another four um, barbarian dukes. Sky tills will really help, slash st, sky tills, uh, key shortcuts. And then you can set slash warp kudra slash warp nether and slash island or slash hub to different keys to warp faster so you don't need to type them in chat you can just press a button this is really helpful in uh beast area grinding as well uh i am beast area 38 for barbarian dukes almost max i'm top 47 that's a pretty good way to get beast area really fast that's basically it uh i will show you 30 minutes of me grinding dukes and I'll see you on the other end.
so from 30 minutes of do grinding i got four hot kuju keys and two normal kuju keys this isn't really statistically correct since it's 40 percent to get a hot and then 60 percent to get a normal but it's whatever and i got 36 leather clots and nine hollow skulls 36 is the amount you need for a gauntlet contagion and to craft that you need three tender mycelium cubes which is 1.7 mil per yep and then the price of gauntlet contagions are around 10.5 mil these guys are extremely undercutting but it's about 10.5 mil and if you sell it overnight you can probably sell it for 11 and then if you get a minimal attribute it's 11.5 uh, mil and then if you're extremely lucky, you'll get Breeze Maniple, which is 50 mil. That's extremely unlucky. I only dropped one and I'm still using it, but that's 50 mil. I don't really want to calculate the chances to get that since it's pretty low. We get two Gauntlet of Contagions per hour and including tax, the lowest will be 17.25 uh, mil, but you also have a chance of getting a Magma Urchin, which is a 2% chance per boss. And since you kill 90 per hour, it'll be 16.5% per hour, which is around 363,000 extra per hour. And then I also got an extra uh, 100k on the side for 30 minutes, so that'll be extra 200k, and that'll leave us with 17.8 mil per hour, which is basically 18 mil per hour. Now, some problems you might have with grinding dukes is, uh, first of all, you won't we'll be able to see a duke through the wall. So to fix that, you do slash patcher, type in cooling, and then turn off entity cooling so you can see it through the wall. Another problem would be it spawning outside right here. All you gotta do is aggro it by punching it. It can spawn everywhere. Usually for me, it gets stuck in this hole right here. Just punch it real quick or stand near it and it'll aggro back up. And then sometimes, I, I'll show the clip here. It'll start aggroing, jumping down, attacking you from down here. All you gotta do is mix it out here, wait a little bit, and go back in. It's not really big of a deal. And then the most annoying one is whenever you spawn and you get zero mana for some reason. You can either warp out back to your island, go back in, or you can just go through with it. It'll take like probably twice as long. But you just go through it and then kill it. And then, yep, gets out, just aggro it. And go up. And that'll be it for today. You guys have a great day. And see you in the next one.